Today, I'll show three practical applications for the silicone split cup and how to clean it. To begin, let's highlight the remarkable synergy between buonite and the silicone split cup. Place the buonite powder into the bowl, then carefully pour in a measured amount of buonite liquid. Ensure a thorough mixing by stirring the ingredients completely. Continue stirring until the mixture reaches a thick and sticky consistency. Now, transfer half of the mixture into a separate container. Enhance the visual appeal by adding a few drops of your favorite colorant to the mixture. After adding the colorant, continue stirring the mixture diligently until the color is evenly distributed throughout. Ensure thorough blending by scraping the sides and bottom of the container to incorporate any unmixed portions. Next, carefully pour the prepared mixture into the separate compartments of the silicone split cup. Now is the moment for the silicone split cup to shine. Pour these vibrant mixtures into silicone molds and witness the magical creation of unique and stunning artworks. Highlighting one of the advantages of the silicone split cup, its effortless cleaning process. Now, let me guide you through the first method for cleaning it. Before the buonite solidifies, place the silicone split cup in water and use a brush to clean it. It's as simple as that. After approximately one hour, it's time to demold the unique creations we crafted earlier. Next, let's explore the second method of cleaning the silicone split cup, which can be quite satisfying. Once the buonite has solidified, you can simply crush the remaining residue in the cup, and you will obtain some terrazzo chips that can be used for other creations. The remaining residue in the cup can be easily cleaned with a brush and water. This not only makes the cleaning process easier, but also allows you to repurpose the leftover material for future artistic endeavors. Now, let's dive into the versatile application of the silicone split cup in the captivating world of resin art. Let's start by pouring a type epoxy resin into the cup followed by adding the appropriate ratio of B-type epoxy resin. Ensure a comprehensive blend by thoroughly mixing the A-type and B-type epoxy resin together. Next, distribute the mixed resin into two separate cups. In these cups, you have the creative freedom to customize the colors according to your preferences. If you like, enhance the visual appeal of the resin by adding some glitter or other decorative elements. Let your creativity shine! After thoroughly mixing, it's time to pour the resin into the compartments of the silicone split cup. This is where the silicone split cup will truly shine, showcasing its functionality in creating captivating resin patterns. Carefully pour the resin mixture into the desired molds. Keep in mind that resin typically requires a longer drying time, usually around one day, for it to fully cure. After you have finished pouring the resin into the molds, it's a good idea to invert the silicone split cup to facilitate the cleaning process. For cleaning resin, once it has cured, you can manually remove larger chunks of residue by hand. For smaller pieces of resin residue, use adhesive tape to effectively pick them up. Employing a strip of adhesive tape wrapped around your hand proves to be an effective method for cleaning the silicone split cup. By gently pressing the sticky side of the tape against the cured resin residues, you can pick up the smaller pieces and leave the cup clean.
Once the resin has fully cured and hardened, carefully demold your creations from the molds. This will unveil the flawless resin creations you've crafted using the versatile silicone split cup. Now, let's explore the dynamic combination of acrylic paint and the silicone split cup. If you have specific colors of acrylic paint that you like, you can directly pour them into the compartments of the silicone split cup. We begin by pouring a layer of pure black paint onto the canvas as the base color. Using a brush, evenly spread the black paint to cover the entire canvas. By the way, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the most practical number of compartments for the silicone split cup. Please share your suggestions in the comments section below. We'll be selecting some viewers to receive this fantastic silicone split cup. Next, pour the paint onto the canvas, employing a pouring technique such as the circular pouring method. You have the flexibility to choose a pouring method that suits your preference. Allow the canvas to facilitate the natural flow of paint toward the edges. It's advisable to invert the cup to ease the cleaning process later on. The final method to clean the silicone split cup is to wait until the acrylic paint is completely dry, usually after one day, and then it can be easily peeled off by hand. 